Hi everyone, here is a fourth location that I haven't shown. This is a white barn and a Bath & Body Works combined. It is the biggest Bath & Body Works that is close to where I live. Here, once again, they only have one 75% off section, which thankfully they had soaps. I believe they had Endless Weekend that I was thinking about purchasing in the foaming type, as well as Vanilla Cloud, I believe, in the Gentle Gel. They still have a bunch of the Christmas scents here, however, the amount of variety is less and less. When I walked into the store, they have maybe about five or six areas of just 50% off. And today was the day that candles were no longer $11.95. And this store, I don't believe, had any $11.95 sections available. But here, this entire section with bubblegum pop, cotton candy clouds, the cozy collection, it is all 50% off and they are well stocked. I believe I said this already, but the size of this 50% off display is maybe three times the size of the 75% off section, and they are fully stocked, so I'm not sure if people maybe perhaps aren't buying because of the price. Oh, and now I know that if I need any scent from the Champagne Brunch collection to go into the store, they have Buttercups and Berry Bellini still, Cucumber Melon, Pink Watermelon Blast. They don't have a fine fragrance mist in any of the stores I previously went to, just the shower gel. So there's that. And with the Buttercups and Berry Bellini, I haven't seen the body cream. They have a tester of it, but not an actual one that you can buy. And this section was pretty small as well. However, the bigger section has a lot, even aromatherapy scents, they had them here. Oh, and the sunscreens that I'm showing right now, I haven't seen them in any other stores. I don't know if they had limited stock or perhaps they all sold out. Another scent that I haven't seen much in other stores is coconut pineapple, which spoiler, I found out isn't for me. Also, Happy Vibes. I sometimes see that scent and I sometimes don't. So since I didn't like coconut pineapple, I didn't need to purchase it. But if I did, now I know that this is the perfect store to go to. Despite it being in a very high traffic mall, I think people aren't really buying, at least not here, or they just have a surplus of inventory. They do have more of the Fruit Fizz collection, by the way. At the top, they have the Strawberry Soda, as well as every other scent besides Cherry Limeade, which I have in the shower gel from last SAS. In the wall, they had kind of like a hanging rack of the previous formulas of the body cream that are going 75% off, or that were 75% off at one point, I'm not sure, but these are the old body cream formulations in the scent Gingham Love, Rose, fairy tale and i think sweet pea as well here i'm passing by the displays that are just regular price and as you can see not a lot of people i went around noon so and it's the weekday so maybe that's why here are the blends collection and a bunch of like the terracotta looking stuff home decor this plan is actually pretty cute um but i'm not gonna pay 90 bucks for it but it's it's cute in the sense that you know it's a fake plant you you don't need to water it and it has its own base. And on this side is the 50% off candles, a lot of the new collection. And as I pass by, there are just random little 50% off sections. And I was looking for, of course, a turtle, ceramic, soap, and candle holder. And of course, they didn't have it, but um, that's okay. On the walls, they have a lot of candles. This store is unique in the sense that they have a bunch of candles and a bunch of body care. So they have plenty of inventory. They just don't lower their prices, I guess. Okay, this section with the flamingos, I think, is that what they're called? Peacocks? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with flamingos. I know that these were going 75% off at another store, but I had already, or maybe I got one, maybe not. Okay, I did get one. And there were like gift sets right next to it, as well as soaps that I also know were 75% off. So I feel like this was hidden in a sense, but in plain sight. Because the soaps right here that I'm mainly focusing on, those were 50% off. So it seems like there are certain sections that product is mixed up. Here are the soaps that I'm really hoping to go 75% off, but I'm not too sure they will this SAS. And I think I fully gave up on beach nights because the tester in this little like beach nights display, it was perfect. It smelled so great. I feel like the marshmallow was very 
heavily present. The salty note was toned down. However, I looked at the batch number, so it ended in I think CAA2. After looking at all the nearby mist sprays that had that same number, that one smelled weak. So I'm not sure at this point what the problem is, if it's a batch or if I'm just imagining things, but I'm not going to use a free reward on this because that means that the one that I would want to purchase, I would have to spray it. And I feel like that's kind of bad, just getting fine fragrance mist that you're not going to buy and spraying them. So this is, I voted it off the island. It's not going to happen. <laughs> If you're in the market to get any of the pedestals, at least where I live in California, they still have the flamingos, the single wick holders, and the three wick holders. And as we were looking around, my sister and I, they had put more of the pineapple ones, the like water globes. They also, I think, stocked up on frosted coconut snowball and they ended up putting fire scythe flurries in the shower gel which I had previously hauled the fine fragrance mist. So if I wanted to, I it could have gotten a shower gel, but it takes me forever to finish them. I already have about eight that I need to go through. And as I was walking around the store, I just wanted to check to see if I haven't missed anything. The 50% off sections are really well stocked, but I'm trying to avoid buying there as much as possible because I'm not sure exactly when Bath & Body Works is going to drop their prices. I think I have almost the luxury of not needing to buy things now, but if you're someone who is just going to do one purchase or one visit to Bath & Body Works and then be done with it, then yeah, I mean, it's going to, I think it's going to cost you more money to go to a store back and forth, back and forth, instead of just buying what you want now that may not be available later. So it's always a gamble that you're taking during SAS shopping. All right. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough video and have a good day. Okay, bye.